So before this video, I was looking up the chances of survival in the Amazon rainforest for a human being. What's the chances of you surviving? Let's put a time frame to it. Let's say 24 hours. Somebody probably already spoke up and was like, oh man, I can make it 24 hours. Can you? Can you in the Amazon rainforest for 24 hours? If the weather don't get you, something happened in the rain, all this type of stuff like that. The weather don't get you, the animals may get you. If the animals don't get you, the bugs may get you. I hear the mosquitoes out there are deadly, bro. Like, it's so many different things. 24 hours. I know it seems like a short amount of time, but that that's a long time in the Amazon. You know what I mean? So... Let's check out some craziness and some discoveries happening in the Amazon. Let's check it out. We used to think that the Amazon was nothing but a barren wilderness. Today, we're realizing that it's anything but barren. From an ancient city to a fish that can emit a powerful current, here are 20 most mysterious recent Amazon jungle discoveries to blow your mind. Number 20. Ancient city hidden in the Amazon rainforest. Recently, archaeologists have unearthed a sprawling network of ancient cities deep within the Amazon rainforest, dating back 2,500 years. This groundbreaking discovery challenges the long-held belief that the Amazon was sparsely populated by nomadic tribes. Instead, we now understand that the Amazon has long been shaped by ancient tribes. These cities, located in what is now Ecuador's Upano Valley, were home to thousands of people. The sites feature ceremonial complexes, water management systems, and evidence of agriculture. This civilization flourished for over a millennium, which means the Amazon rainforest isn't the untouched wilderness we thought it was before the arrival of more recent inhabitants. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. 24 ancient earthworks have been detected in the Amazon, and there might be 10,000 more left undiscovered. Archaeologists have made a stunning discovery in the Amazon rainforest. 24 previously unknown ancient earthworks. Now what's mind-boggling is that not a hundred, but a staggering 10,000 more might still be out there in the Amazon waiting to be discovered. This discovery was only made possible by technology recently made available to us. Advanced technology like LiDAR. Through this, we can penetrate the dense forest canopy and identify hidden structures. These earthworks include geometric shapes like ring ditches, geoglyphs, ponds, and wells. These likely serve various purposes, including ceremonial, social, and defensive functions. The findings suggest that less than 10% of these structures have been discovered so far, including that the Amazon may be one of the most archaeologically rich regions in the world, despite the lack of our oh my god why did you have to say that right do y'all not understand we need the amazon for its survival for our survival but you tell them it's it's rich in this and it's rich in that and it's this and it has this history and that history what are people gonna do go there find it discover it dig it up tear it down do all kind of destruction to it we need this place as dangerous as it is we need it archaeologically significant findings in the wilderness. Now these earthworks revealed a lot about the people who first lived in the Amazon. Researchers found a significant correlation between the location of earthworks and the presence of domesticated tree species like cacao and Brazil nuts. The presence of earthworks near cacao and nuts means that it's likely the ancient Amazonians grew and cultivated the trees themselves. This challenges the long-standing view of the Amazon as a pristine wilderness showing instead that it's been shaped significantly by human intervention over millennia. Number 18. Sistine Chapel Rock Art The Sistine Chapel ceiling was painted in fresco by artist Michelangelo between 1508 and 1512. Now it seems like the early settlers of the Amazon rainforest had their own version. Recently, researchers discovered a stretch of rock art deep in the amazon filled with tens of thousands of prehistoric paintings that date back to approximately 12,500 years ago these artworks were made on an eight mile long cliffside depicting human and animal figures with how big it is the cliffside was dubbed the sistine chapel of the ancients the scale and detail of the rock art are breathtaking 
Some images are so high up on the cliff face that they can only be seen with drones, leading researchers to speculate that the artists may have used wooden scaffolds to reach these heights. We based its age on the drawings themselves, with depictions of now extinct ice age animals like the mastodon, a prehistoric relative of the elephant, it's likely that the cliff face artworks were made at least 12,000 years ago. However, there's a chance that these artworks are far older. This challenges our belief about the early settlers of the rainforest. Rather than shying away from changing the lush rainforest, it seems like these people truly tried to leave something behind. It just so happened that nature herself hid remnants of the jungle's first settlers. These drawings were created by the very first humans ever to reach and thrive in the Amazon. This entire cliff face is like a glimpse of a lost ancient civilization that we've never known. How did they know that though? That that came from the very first humans ever. When we keep changing the timeline consistently. Like we don't know when the first humans, I, I'll bet on that before I say this here is the very first uh, rock art from humans. The very first humans that ever existed. No. No. If one thing I've learned now up until this point is that we don't know. <laughs> we don't. Before, with these artworks only being discovered in 2020, it's possible that it might take years or even generations to fully study the eight mile long cliff face. Who knows just what secrets these 12,500 year old artworks might reveal? Number 17. Four children found in the rainforest after 40 days. 13, 9, 4, 11. These are the ages of four children when they got lost in the Amazon on May 1st, 2023. With these numbers not being over 15, you would think that they wouldn't stand a chance against the tough Amazonian wilderness. Yet somehow, a miracle happened. It all began when a small plane crashed in the Colombian jungle. The adults in the aircraft succumbed, but the children were surprisingly unharmed. However, surviving the crash was just the beginning. With no one to rely on, the children were forced to keep themselves alive in the Amazon while waiting for help to come. Luckily, they were members of an indigenous group and were likely taught how to fend for themselves in the jungle. And there you have it. Because a lot of people probably heard that and say, well, if them kids could do it, then I can definitely do it. No, 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 no. They were probably prepared or trained for this without even knowing it. On top of the fact that they had an angel watching over them because they already survived the plane crash. And the Amazon, yeah, they had an angel. Don't, uh, <laughs> that wouldn't just be easy to do. They managed to sustain themselves by eating cassava flour and fruits they found and built makeshift shelters using vegetation. As the children tried their best to live, a search effort was conducted, which lasted for 40 long days. In the end, the search effort, involving 150 soldiers, rescue dogs, and local volunteers, finally came to an end when the young ones were found. The discovery of the children, after an extensive search, brought relief and joy to the nation, with Colombian President Gustavo Petro calling their survival an example of survival, and a story that will remain in history. Number 16. New Species of Giant Anaconda Scientists have discovered a new species of giant anaconda in the Ecuadorian Amazon within the Waurani indigenous territory. This newly identified species, named the Northern Green Anaconda, is notable for its immense size, with some individuals reportedly reaching lengths of over 20 feet. Despite its size, this species was surprisingly elusive. It took scientists and the locals working together to locate one of these massive snakes. But how is it different from other anaconda species? Well, it's one of the heaviest and longest of its kind, with one specimen allegedly being 21 feet long. Now its difference from other anaconda species comes down to its DNA. Researchers discovered that it has approximately 5.5% difference in mitochondrial DNA, prompting scientists to classify it as a different species. Number 15. A Bizarre New Species From behind, the head of this sloth looks just like a coconut, which probably earned it the nickname the Southern Maned Sloth, also known as the Coconut-Headed Sloth. The southern maned sloth is characterized by its flatter skull, rounder jaws, and wider cheekbones compared to its northern counterpart, the northern maned sloth. 
The two species are geographically separated by the Rio Doce River, which acts as a natural barrier, contributing to their distinct evolutionary paths. Given that it's a newly classified species, much about this slow-moving creature is yet to be known. Number 14. A tree with human-sized leaves. If you think only animals are interesting in the Amazon, think again. This is Coccoloba gigantifolia, a new species of tree with human-sized leaves. A single leaf of this tree can reach up to 8 feet long. That's taller than an average male. The tree itself can grow up to a height of 49 feet. Now, the family where this tree species belongs has been known to botanists for nearly four decades. Yet it wasn't formally described until recently due to the difficulty in obtaining the necessary botanical materials, such as flowers and fruits, which are crucial for scientific classification. Finally, it's been classified as its own unique species. Number 13. New species of wasp that eats its victims from the inside out. Normal wasps are already horrifying, but a wasp that consumes its prey from the inside out? Nightmarish. That's exactly what a newly discovered species of wasp does to its prey. It consumes its victims from the inside out. Known as the vampire wasp, this species found in Peru's National Reserve of Alpueo Mishana targets various insects, including caterpillars, beetles, and spiders. The female wasp injects her eggs into the host body using an ovipositor, a specialized egg-laying organ. The larvae hatch inside the host and feed on it, eventually ending the life of its host as they grow. Now aside from laying eggs, these wasps may also feed on the host's hemolymph, a blood-like fluid to gain nutrients necessary for egg development. This behavior further emphasizes the wasp's vampiric nature, making it one of the most unsettling discoveries in the Amazon. Eat you from the inside? Nah, man, just take me out quick, bro. Can you imagine something? You feeling something? Just that. And then the day goes on, you feel worse and worse. Probably lighter because it's eating you from the inside. Like, you don't know what's happening to you. Nah, bro. No, no. That's that. See, that's just part of the things that can get to you in the Amazon. Number 12 a creature that used to be considered a cryptid. In the past, giant otters were thought to be cryptids, creatures that haven't been confirmed to be real. Today, these creatures are known to be one of the most formidable predators in the Amazonian wilderness. Standing as the largest otter species in the world, these creatures can grow up to 5.6 feet long. Giant otters can be found in groups or rafts in the slow-moving waters in the rainforest. Despite their current scientific classification, the giant otter was once shrouded in mystery, with local legends describing a fearsome water jaguar or river wolf. This cryptid-like status was fueled by their rare sightings and impressive physical attributes, including their sleek muscular build and webbed feet, which make them exceptional swimmers. We still have a lot to unravel about these creatures, but sadly, they're already classified as an endangered species with their population threatened by habitat loss, pollution, and illegal hunting. Number 11. A River Beneath the Amazon One of the most groundbreaking discoveries in the Amazon is the presence of an entire river running beneath it. Known as the Rio Hamza, this water system runs beneath the Amazon River. It runs about 13,000 feet beneath the surface and stretches over 3,700 miles long, paralleling the Amazon River. Now, despite being called a river, it's not actually a river in the traditional sense. Rivers flow, but Rio Hamza moves extremely slowly at a rate of less than one millimeter per hour. This slow movement occurs through porous rock formations, acting more like a massive slow-flowing aquifer than a free-flowing river. What's more, despite its size, the Hamza discharges significantly less water than the Amazon, contributing only around 110,000 cubic feet, only 3% of the Amazon's 7.74 million cubic feet of water. For reference, that's roughly the water needed to fill 88 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Rio Hamza's water is also incredibly salty compared to the fresh water of the Amazon. Despite its staggering size, however, we're yet to know more about this deep underground river. Number 10. The Pygmy Marmoset 
The pygmy marmoset is native to the dense rainforests of the western Amazon basin, including regions in Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. Measuring 5 to 6 inches in length and weighing a mere 3.5 ounces, the pygmy marmoset is known as the smallest monkey species in the world. Pygmy marmosets are arboreal, spending most of their lives in the treetops, where they navigate effortlessly using their nimble bodies and long tails for balance. They have specialized claws instead of nails on all their digits except the big toe, which helps them cling to tree trunks and branches. Aside from their distinct appearance, these creatures have developed a rather unusual diet. You see, these tiny primates have adapted to their environment and become gummivores. No, they don't eat gummies. Rather, they primarily consume tree sap and gum. Deep in the Amazon, these tiny primates use their sharp teeth not to bite prey, but to extract sap and gum in tree bark. Quite the fascinating creature. Number nine, the mystery of the Silkenge. If you walk around the Amazonian wilderness, there's a chance you'll encounter small, bizarre structures known as Silkenge. With their resemblance to Stonehenge, these tiny structures made out of spider silk have captured the intrigue of researchers all over the globe. The first of these structures was discovered in 2013 by researcher Troy Alexander in Tambopata National Reserve in Peru. Initially, the origin of these structures was a mystery. Some believed that it was a fungus, while some pointed to the structure being created by caterpillars. Recently, however, one of these structures was observed with spiderling hatchlings from within it, confirming that silkenges are indeed made by spiders. The mystery, however, lies in what species is responsible for them and why. Scientists have hypothesized that the purpose of these structures could be to protect the spider eggs from predators and environmental hazards like water. The fence-like arrangement might deter predators, while the central spire could play a role in keeping the eggs dry. However, much about the silken spider's behavior and life cycle remains unknown, and no adult spiders have been observed creating these structures, leaving the mystery of the silkenge open. Number 8. An arachnid that makes decoy spiders. Some spiders may be small, but they're one of the most amazing creatures on the planet. One of the most mind-boggling arachnids we've discovered resides in the Amazon rainforest, where it's busy creating fake versions of itself. Yes, you heard that right. In the Amazon and the Philippines, researchers discovered decoy spiders. These spiders belong to the genus Cyclosa and were first observed in the Peruvian Amazon. The decoys are constructed from various materials, including leaves, dead insects, and debris. The arachnid carefully gathers different materials and weaves them into something that resembles a larger spider. As the name suggests, the decoy spider creates these larger, fake arachnids to serve as a decoy, a form of defense to confuse or scare away predators. By creating these lifelike replicas, the real spider, which is much smaller and typically hides above or behind the decoy, increases its chances of avoiding predation. This clever use of mimicry showcases the spider's sophisticated behavior, a trait that's rare and not fully understood among arachnids. This means that these spiders are aware of their appearance and their size. Researchers, including biologist Phil Torres, have noticed that these decoys can be surprisingly detailed. Darn spiders got better IQs than some of the humans I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's very smart and highly intelligent of them to do that. You know what I mean? I guess survival makes you do some some crazy things or make you figure out some things man to in order to, for yourself to survive especially in the amazon so shout out to him but yeah that spider is smarter than some humans i know sometimes complete with faux legs and body segments that's not all several of these decoy spiders have been observed shaking their webs when threatened making the decoy appear to move further enhancing the illusion this behavior has sparked interest among archaeologists and biologists as it suggests a high level of cognitive function and problem-solving abilities in these spiders. Due to their isolated habitat, however, we still have much to learn about these astounding creatures. Number 7. A Flesh-Eating Parasite There are many risks in exploring the unknown wilderness. While the experience in itself is rewarding, sometimes it comes with a cost. Take, for example, Pip Stewart's unforgettable experience while immersing herself in the rich rainforest of the Amazon. 
Pip, a British explorer and journalist, encountered one of her biggest challenges during an Amazonian expedition when she contacted cutaneous leishmaniasis, a flesh-eating parasitic disease. It all began when she fell in love with the dense Amazon rainforest. She loved the jungle, and more so, the great river running through it. When kayaking, Pip allegedly got bitten by an infected sand fly, resulting in a small bite on her neck. She a fly did that to her. A fly, but you still thinking you can survive 24 hours, bro. I was thinking maybe a mosquito or something. A fly did that to her. Flesh-eating disease she contracted. Yeah, yeah, no thank you. Check, please. She thought it was normal. After all, being outdoors meant being exposed to insects. However, when she got back to the United Kingdom, the small bug bite had already developed into a wound. Upon returning to the UK, she was diagnosed with the disease and faced a daunting choice. Undergo a toxic treatment involving an outdated chemotherapy medicine or risk the parasite spreading further. The doctor told her that if not treated, the parasite could easily eat away her face. You see, the disease contracted by Pip is rare. Leishmaniasis is something understudied. Luckily, she had the best treatment available, and the disease was stopped before it was too late. It's horrifying to imagine that in the remote Amazon where this disease is prolific, victims would have no choice but to endure the pain and simply succumb to the disease. Number 6. An Amazonian Cryptid the water jaguar, or the tapir nymph, is a mythical being roaming the flooded forests and rivers of the Amazon basin, particularly in Brazil, Venezuela, and surrounding regions. It's said that the tapir nymph is an amphibious predator capable of moving both on land and in water. It has a body reminiscent of a tapir, but with characteristics of a jaguar, including sharp teeth and a fierce demeanor. However, Local legend suggests that the Tapiriwara has the ability to shapeshift into various animals, including jaguars, deer, and tapirs. This shapeshifting ability is believed to be a protective measure, allowing the creature to guard the Amazon's animals and waterways from harm, often punishing those who disrespect or damage the environment. Some stories describe the Tapiriwara as a guardian spirit that watches over the rainforest while others depict it as a more malevolent entity capable of harming innocent people. Whatever this creature is, its existence is still debated to this day. Number 5. Neo-Dinosaurs in the Amazon Basin One of the alleged creatures that reside in the Amazon are Neo-Dinosaurs. These purported creatures, often described as resembling prehistoric dinosaurs, have been reported in the dense jungles of Brazil, Colombia, and other parts of South America. Now what exactly is a neo-dinosaur? This term refers to sightings of creatures that appear remarkably similar to dinosaurs, particularly sauropods and theropods, which were believed to have gone extinct millions of years ago. The legends of these creatures include descriptions of large bipedal reptiles with long necks and tails, often sighted near rivers and lakes. One notable account involves a creature resembling a Camptosaurus, reportedly seen by a local hunter along the Rio Perus. Unfortunately, despite numerous accounts and alleged sightings, there's no concrete scientific evidence supporting the existence of such creatures. Researchers continue to investigate these reports, often encountering challenges due to the dense and remote nature of the Amazon rainforest. Most neo-dinosaur sightings in the Amazon aren't backed by concrete evidence, but the fact that we haven't explored the entirety of the Amazon keeps the possibility of these creatures' existence alive. Number 4. The Friendliest Animal in the World There's only one reason why capybaras are mysterious. Somehow, these creatures get along with most animals. They're native to the tropical rainforests of South America, particularly in the Amazon basin. They weigh up to 175 pounds and stand around 2 feet tall at the shoulder making them the largest rodent in the world. Their body is barrel-shaped with short, sturdy legs, and they have a distinctive appearance with eyes, ears, and nostrils positioned on top of their heads, allowing them to keep most of their body submerged while breathing and watching for predators. Capybaras are semi-aquatic animals, well adapted to their watery habitats. They're excellent swimmers, thanks to their partially webbed feet, and can hold their breath underwater for up to five minutes, 
making them adept at avoiding predators such as jaguars, caimans, and anacondas. They're also highly social animals, typically living in groups that can range from 10 to 30 individuals. These groups are led by a dominant male, with other members including females and their young. While science considers caimans and anacondas their predators, there are a lot of photos showing capybaras with all sorts of different animals, from cats, dogs, and turtles, to apex predators like caimans. You see, capybaras are generally calm and gentle. Their size allows them not to feel immediately threatened, and they have a naturally agreeable and social nature. For this reason, capybaras are one of the friendliest and the most chill creatures on the planet. Number 3. A Mythical Giant Serpent one of the creatures cryptozoologists hope to find is a 196-foot-long snake known as the Mother of Water, or in the local language, the Yakumama. This legendary giant serpent is said to be living in the Amazon River Basin, and if proven real, it could be the largest serpent alive in the world. The Yakumama is depicted as a powerful being with a thick muscular body, often dark green or brown, which helps it blend seamlessly into the lush rainforest of the Amazon. The story goes that you'll be alerted of the Yakumama's presence by a pair of large glowing red eyes. While the Yakumama is a monstrous creature cryptozoologists hope to find, for the indigenous communities in the Amazon, this giant serpent represents something more. It's considered the mother of all aquatic life and is believed to have the power to control water bodies, such as rivers and lakes. The Yakumama can cause storms, floods, and anything related to the river. According to the legend, the serpent is the mother of aquatic life, but it can also suck in anything within a hundred paces, from fish and birds to small mammals. For a long time, researchers have been trying to find a trace of this monstrous serpent. Various expeditions have attempted to find evidence of the Yakumama, but none of them have ever come back with definite results. Some theorists suggest that these legends might be inspired by real, though not as enormous, creatures like the green anaconda, or even the prehistoric Titanoboa, a giant snake known from fossil records to have existed millions of years ago. From time to time, however, sightings of this creature still resurface, keeping the existence of the Yakumama alive. Number 2. Drought Unveiled Ancient Petroglyphs in the Heart of the Amazon Rainforest in 2020 oh, that, that, what that look like somebody who didn't make it out there trying to survive died and and it was there so long with no rescue that he just i don't know man <laughs> turned into rock stone or just that's what his body turned into fossil that's how long he'd been there i, I don't know but this don't this doesn't say anything good to me the ancient petroglyphs in the heart of the amazon rainforest in 2023, a drought hit Brazil's Amazon basin, and with the receding water, secrets of the rainforest were revealed. The low water level on the riverbed near Manaus revealed engravings that scientists believed to be between 1,000 and 2,000 years old. These faces might look like modern emoticons or emojis to you, but they were actually carved and created by people who lived in the Amazon rainforest over a millennium ago. These cravings depict human faces, animals, and symbols that seem to represent water. The site, located where the Rio Negro meets the Amazon River, has only been exposed once before, during a similar drought in 2010, making this rare drought a unique chance to examine the petroglyphs. Researchers claim that these patterns are known locally as caretas, or little faces. They're thought to have been created by pre-Columbian peoples who inhabited the region, Exactly which people or groups created them remains a mystery to this day. The engravings include unique features, such as faces with square heads and varying facial features, suggesting different expressions or meanings. Some carvings are accompanied by grooves that may have been used as whetstones by the ancient inhabitants to sharpen tools. It's likely that more of these caretas are hiding in the lush rainforest of the Amazon, waiting to be discovered. These little faces might look simple to us, but you can only imagine just what they mean. Researchers noticed that some of these heads were square. Some featured mouths or noses, while some did not. These decisions might be arbitrary, but it's possible that these drawings reveal the emotions and the way of life of the people who created them. And now, it's time for today's topic. A drone captures in the Amazon what no one was supposed to see. 
In a recent expedition, a drone captured a startling image deep in the Amazon rainforest, a UFO-like object soaring through the clouds. The Amazon, a vast and largely unexplored wilderness, has long been a hotspot for a lot of mysterious sightings and unexplained phenomena. This includes extraterrestrial sightings, and this photo is just one of the several alleged sightings in the rainforest. This latest discovery adds fuel to the theory suggesting that the dense and remote jungle could serve as a location for alien exploration. What do you think about this image? Could this be a photo of a real UFO or something else? Perhaps an aircraft being developed by a secret organization? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Number 1. The Electric Eels of the Amazon The most fascinating creatures in the world are those that can produce electricity electrogenic animals. You can count the number of these animals on one hand. The strongest among them? The electric eel. The strength of electricity varies from species to species, and recently, researchers discovered the species with the most powerful voltage among these creatures. Electrophorus volti, a species of electric eel that can deliver up to a staggering 860 volts. This creature residing in the Amazon basin has the most powerful electric shock ever recorded in any animal. Despite being called eels, electric eels are not true eels, but rather a type of knife fish. Their electricity is not something they solely use for predators or prey. Their shock is also useful for navigation and communication. You're probably wondering what would happen if an electric eel shocks you. Humans falling victim to these creatures is quite rare. However, there are a few documented cases. A single shock delivered by these creatures is enough for a person to drown even in shallow water. Multiple shocks? That's a guaranteed respiratory or heart failure, eventually leading to death. It's astounding how to this day we continue to discover new species in the Amazon. In fact, in 2017, scientists were discovering a new Amazon species every other day. Unfortunately, as more and more of the wilderness is being converted into farmland, habitat loss might eventually drive these species to extinction before we can even learn about their existence. The Amazon rainforest truly is an astounding place. Hopefully, we'll be able to uncover its secrets while still preserving its beauty.